Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn about error log in. Um, there are different types of log in we are going to study in different uh, videos. Uh, here we are talking about the when the problem uh, encounters starting, running, or stopping MySQL D. Uh, that's where uh, these are. Uh, all the logs are get to the error log file. Uh, in this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide this into two parts. So, so um, we will do in the same way, one video, but just uh, two different uh, portions of it. First of all, we will discuss error log in for MySQL installed on Windows machine, and then uh, we will discuss the error log for MySQL installed on a Linux box. So, so let's go to Windows machine uh, where we have installed our um, MySQL server and I'm gonna go to the services first and show you uh, what services that we have here I have multiple instances of MySQL installed uh, but I'm gonna go just a uh, demo for one uh, this is called MySQL AD okay so first of all where exactly I can find the information for this uh, uh, error log file um, so if you go to the my INI file, that's where the location of this file is. If it is a default, then it's going to be the same place where your data uh, data directory is. Okay, so where our direct data directory is, let's open C drive, and then we always go to the C program data data. Then we are going to go to the MySQL and uh, mysql server 8.0 and that's uh, our data directory here uh, you will see one of the files uh, with the same node name so if uh, you take a look here uh, our node name if you go to system is the uh, tech Brothers it okay so right here that's our device name so that's what will be the name of your uh, error log file so at uh, the node name dot err so you can see dot error file here okay let's uh, inspect this file open this and take a look what type of information it has now you can see uh, let me go to the last line and you can see from here uh, you have a uh, different uh, shutdown information okay what time it was shut down okay and then uh, once one once uh, it was uh, ready okay let's do uh, one more thing here so you see that uh, it was a uh, four seven 30 that was the time now what we have here uh, we have uh, uh, and uh, uh, 4 58 p.m. and all that so what we are going to do here we are going to close this one I can do multiple things I can actually just uh, control a and delete everything and just uh, save it uh, while okay so while it is being accessed we cannot make changes fine uh, don't save it okay just leave this one as it is when we will open it at the end we'll see the information with the new date and time so let's go ahead and close uh, our service so if you close the service you're gonna get that information there all right so we go back to the file and uh, here is our file and you see that the size has changed it was a uh, 11 KB but now it is a 12 KB it uh, let's see right here and you can see that uh, 658 uh, so that's the time on this uh, machine and uh, you can see that uh, shutdown uh, happened right there okay so right there so shutdown any information to the shutdown restart uh, or um, uh, start uh, that's gonna be happening in uh, this uh, log file okay great if we will go ahead and restart our uh, service again mysql ad if i will start then uh, there should be another record in this uh, file so if you need to know what time your services were started or stopped and all that you can always go to this uh, error file so error log file here you can see that uh, now it was uh, stopped here on 58 and then it started here so you can see right here so it is ready for connections so you can see all those information right there so that's good and now what we need to do in case uh, you need to know the error log uh, file uh, location that's uh, one of the thing like okay right now what you have here uh, you have uh, uh, at the default location so you have in the data directory okay but there could be possibility you are uh, writing your logs to different location so what will you need to do you need to go to the my INI file on the windows right click here and say edit and uh, look for the error log so let's go further down and here is uh, uh, you will find that information I'm trying to find it quickly for you so let's see okay right here so it's a error log 
and then uh, you have tech brothers it dot error e r r okay now it doesn't say c drive d drive or any drive here because it is uh, writing to the data directory default data directory but you can always change it if you want to change it to c maybe something else like a data or uh, maybe uh, e drive or whatever so you can always go ahead and update this one so totally dependent on you you can make the changes to this configuration file my.ini and then your error file will be written to some different location okay i'm not going to save it Great. So from here, you know that how to locate your the location for your uh, error log file, and also how to see the information in the error log file uh, in the data directory. That's a default location for error dot error log file in uh, my SQL for Windows installation. Now let's go to the our Linux installation. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it just to let you guys know I have Linux box on which I have installed. Uh, my SQL server so that's the tech brothers IT node 1 that's the name of my host that's where I have installed the my SQL server I'm gonna make it bold and italic so you can see that and here open provide the username and password okay I'm gonna make it uh, super user so we don't have to type again and again all those permission things okay so what you are looking here uh, your all the configuration information is saved in etc uh, uh, my, uh, backslash my dot config so if you want to go to the etc directory and here what you have a my dot config file so if you do cat here you will be able to see where exactly your error log file is um, so you can see that uh, error log, log error and uh, var log mysql d that's the location of your uh, uh, error log file here you see that mysql d dot log is the file okay great so what we can do from here i can simply copy this path and say let me clear this say come come, come below down uh, cat this file and you can see that I have all that information when the server is shut down, when the server was started. So you can see different information. So let's see the time here. You see that uh, 2018, 11, 24, 04, 11. That's when it was the last time I restarted. So I'm going to clear this information. And now I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, let me see. I'm going to stop it. Okay. So we'll, we'll, what we will do, we'll say system CTL stop MySQL D. Okay. That's going to stop our service. Um, so the service is stopped. So we, if we want to check, like if the service is really stopped, so we can say sudo, no, sorry, system CTL status MySQL D. If you see that, you can see that inactive dead. So MySQL service is stopped. Now we want to go back and take a look. So remember, our log file is in CD war, and then we have um, MySQL, and in the sorry, so logs CD, CD log, and here we have ls minus la. That's where it's going to give us this information. So it is var log, that's where our mysql d dot log file is. So I'm going to clear this and say cat. And let me bring it a couple down here. So cat mysql d dot log and let's inspect that. Last time when we ran that, the information was at 411 and now you see that the last time it we shut down the service and you can see that at 1103 um, that's where the current time of this server is right now and uh, it is shut down okay so what we are going to do from here this is the last message I put so we t we can tell all the history of uh, restarting and stop in uh, mysql service here so if we do system ctl start mysql d okay so it's, uh, the service is starting so if we want to check the service status mysql d okay the service is running right now okay let's check the log again so cat and we are already in that directory where our log file is so we are in war log and our uh, error log file is uh, is called 
uh, mysql d dot log so i'm going to see mysql d dot log okay so you can see there last time when we stopped the service so it was a uh, uh, shut down there and then uh, we started the service at 705 so you can see that it is stop starting it is telling all different uh, um, information and then finally it's in uh, ready for connections so if there would be error related to that as well it will show in here so that's great but if you need to see the current location of your log that's uh, uh, most of the time if it is a default it is a war uh, log and the mysql d that's the default path of your log file is going to be happening but in case uh, when you uh, you want to put your log in different directories and all that you can do it and that uh, uh, is uh, going to be happening in cd etc and uh, my.config file so whatever the path you have defined here or name you will define here that's the path it is it is uh, going to use okay Great. So from now, I'm mean, uh, in this video. You learn how to um, check uh, the location of your MySQL uh, error log file in uh, Windows and in uh, Linux as well, and how to read the logs. And we did perform a small demo where we stop and start the service and uh, learn how to check uh, the information in the log error log file for MySQL uh, on different machines. Um, thanks very much for watching this video, and I hope this video will help.